Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Lately, I had received several requests for me to make a dedicated standalone video of my Atelier Z Ken Ken Signature Short Scale Vase. So for my online friends who made this request, this one's for you. So I've had this base for about two years now, and I had imported it from Japan. Now, as I understand it, Ken Ken is a Japanese bass player for a alternative uh, heavy metal band called Rise. It's spelled R-I-Z-E. It could also be Rize. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, that's not really my music scene. But if you know, uh, or if you are familiar with that music, please leave some comments below. Now, Ken Ken the player, from the YouTube videos that I've seen, he does a lot of kind of flashy slap and pyrotechnic stuff on the bass, which I completely suck at. Uh, so I really, I bought this bass because I wanted a good short scale J style bass. And I gotta say, this is probably the most versatile short scale jazz bass I've ever played. And that's why I've hung on to this one. About two years ago, I paid around a thousand Canadian dollars for this before shipping. Looking on eBay, uh, the prices for these are kind of all over the place. So maybe you'll get lucky and catch one at a lower price. This base features a basswood body, a maple neck, maple fingerboard, open gear tuners, two Atelier Z single coil jazz pickups, and the control layout is volume, volume, tone. The only modification I made to this base is I swapped out the original bridge for a Fender vintage style slotted saddle bridge. Uh, these are my favorite bridges. And I put this bridge on just to tame the, uh, the high end a tiny little bit. In terms of measurements, this bass has a 1.5 inch nut, so pretty standard jazz bass style. And at the 12th fret, it measures 2.125 inches. For a reference, in comparison to my first generation uh, Fender Mustang PJ bass, that neck width at the 12th fret is just a hair over two inches. So this neck is slightly, ever so slightly wider than my Mustang. In terms of neck profile and thickness, this neck is a little bit thicker than a PJ Mustang. But that is an incredibly smooth playing neck. It's very comfortable uh, and it's been rock solid for me. In the two years I've had this bass, I have not needed to adjust the truss rod once. I currently have this strung with Dunlop Super Bright Nickels gauges 100 to 40. And I found that those strings uh, for the tonal goals I'm trying to achieve work perfectly on this bass. Let me show you some of the sounds you can get from this bass. Let's start with both volumes up and the tone all the way open. Now why don't we try trying to mimic a P bass. So let's roll the bridge pickup all the way off and only have the neck pickup up. So you can hear the hum. I have the tone knob here about 25%. It doesn't exactly sound like a long scale P bass, but it's pretty close and it gets you into that territory if you're playing live and you just want to bring one bass. But as you can hear, there's that 60 hertz ground hum. Let's roll that tone up, up to 50%, just the neck pickup. I like that sound too, but now the hum's starting to get louder. If I roll the tone up all the way up, I don't know if you can hear it over YouTube audio, uh, but for me, uh, and on the stages I play on, and especially in the recording uh, environment, that's too noisy for me. Now let me show you the sound where I favor the bridge pickup by rolling the neck off just a tiny little bit, tone up at 50, for that Jacko vibe.
Well, let's put this bass up against the drum track so you can hear some of the different sounds I've just outlined in the context of a groove. Here we go. So in summary, I think this Atelier-Z short scale Ken Ken Signature J bass is one of the most versatile short scale basses I've ever had. So I still want to hold on to mine. But if you have the opportunity to check one out, I strongly suggest you do. Alright, thanks so much for watching this video. Until next time.